Yo, it's been a while. Remember to give this video a like or dislike. Leave a dumb comment down if you want. And as always, stay delusional. If you guys are wondering as to why I haven't been uh, uploading lately, these, two, these past two weeks or so, it's because I have been very uh, stressed out. Now, not stressed out to the point that I feel uh, sick or anything like that. I, I just stress, just regular stress that anybody can have in, in a daily, uh, daily situation. I've been feeling stressed over things that have to do with family matters, with my motivations for life and my goals and whatnot. And because of these things, I have not been uploading. So, to not make this sound sad or anything like that, you know, it's just that I have been very, very unmotivated because of the stress that I've been accumulating throughout the past two or three weeks ago. And that's been making me feel unmotivated to make any videos. But that does not mean that I'm going to stop making videos. I will continue. Just that I'm trying to like get back to it. To try to, how should I say, I'm rusty right now, so I'm trying to like get back to making the videos and trying to feel like more my, like myself instead of having to force myself to be like myself when I'm making a video. Either way, um, I want to divide this video, not divide it like in terms of, oh, I'm going to make part one and part two and then part three. No, I'm going to divide it in through the the very the very same video but basically based on uh what i'm thinking okay so i already said my intro my introduction so to speak now let me move on as to what exactly i want to do for this channel since i have not been uploading okay so one I'm probably thinking of diverging my channel to different genre of games besides fighting games. Because I'm at a point right now that I'm feeling very bored of playing fighting games. Because it's one thing that, okay, you play one fighting game that you enjoy, but then let's say, for example, in the case of Guilty Gear, which is the one game that I've been playing a lot of on my channel, the player base is dwindling. It's small. So it's it's hard to find people to uh, play against. When the game itself is like, what, like four or five years old? Probably older than that. So I really don't feel like making content on a game that has doesn't really have a player base in general to go on to. But that does not mean that there isn't any other fighting games that I'm looking forward to. For example... There is, of course, uh, Guilty Gear Strive, that will definitely have a an abundance of players to play with, and Rollback Netcode. Though uh, there is a couple of negative things that I don't not uh, that I want to address, I should say, about Strive, but I feel like there's already so many other channels that have already addressed the negatives of the game that I don't feel like. I want to address them onto my channel. So if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, just look at any video, particularly about Strive, about the negatives, the the positives of the game, what people are thinking about the game, and you will see that the majority of these individuals that are talking into their uh, under their mics, recording themselves, are probably thinking the same thing, and I'm also thinking the same thing as them. So, that is one thing. Either way. Then there's, of course, that one fighting game that Arc System seems to be working on as well, which is the one that Neopool and Arc System are working on, and that's, I think, DFN Duel. I'm still not sure exactly when that game will be coming out. There's no release date for that game. But if that game were to ever come out this year, most definitely will be a game that I will be wanting to play for my channel. 
And there's also the new Melty Blood game, but they haven't announced exactly if that game will ever come out for PC. Since I'm mostly a PC player, I, I used to play on console, but I moved on from, you know, the peasantry of, of playing on console. I'm kidding when I'm saying that, though, but I just feel more comfortable playing on PC now than I do playing on console. And mostly because of the fact that I don't have to play, I don't have to pay online. So that's one thing. I just have to pay the, the bills for the internet, but that's all I need to pay, really. Um, yeah. So there's that. So there are some fighting games that are coming out that I'm very interested in. Now, second point. Even though I'm getting into these other fighting games and then there's going to be more fighting games coming out throughout this year and the next, I really don't want to make my channel fully a game only based on PvP and uh, fighting games in general, you know? I feel like I want to diverge my channel into other genre of games or other games that I like to play, you know? Which means that maybe my channel might end up becoming more of a variety channel instead of a channel that's only niched based on a particular genre of game. And the genre of game that I'm thinking about uh, inviting to my channel are MMOs, in my opinion. I, I, I like MMOs. I really do enjoy the the progress that MMOs tend to have. I love the RPG, you know, the when you start RPing in games. I love that uh, part of the game. I mean, I don't mean like completely RPing, but you know, uh, when you're actually going through the game as if you're adventuring and then you're making your, your character or your play a certain class. And then, you know, you just feel the world around you as if you're in the game itself. I love that uh, feeling in MMOs. But because of how long it takes to basically progress through an MMO, uh, and especially when it comes to a new MMO that you have no idea how to play and have no idea how to min-max and, how, and no, have no idea how to get good in, it can be a little daunting because, you know, the player base may not have any clue what the hell you're putting up for your channel. And they don't even know what the hell you're, you're playing. So, if it's a game they have no idea how the game is played, then even more so, they'll likely click off from your channel and just watch something else. But, either way, even with that uh, little, you know, situation in mind, I still want to play MMOs. I, I love playing them. And not just for the aspects that I just mentioned, but also because of the PvE, the the dungeon grinding, the uh, raids, uh, the world bosses that you fight with your companions, with friends, or whatever. Not that I have any, but either way, uh, uh, <coughs> um, but I do love PvP, like usual, so that's another aspect that I like to get into, into MMOs. And MMOs tend to bring out that large-scale type of content when it comes to PvP, depending on the MMO, of course. But I love my large-scale PvP, like in Black Desert Online. I like my uh, small-scale PvP, like arenas, like uh, Blade and Soul and whatnot. And, of course, I just prefer the action combat that's that's basically on these games. I mean, of course, not just action comic, it can also be tap targeted, but, um, I prefer the, the combat that comes with MMOs, because you feel free when you're playing these games, other than a two-dimensional fighting game. And even certain fighting games that tend to be more three-dimensional, like J-Stars, or, uh, what was it called, that game, Jump Force, I think, and, and other games like it, you know, it, it still doesn't compare to what MMOs can give to you, you know, both in story, both in lore, both in in gearing uh, the adventure and the dungeons and all that shit right, uh, that you can get and the socialization 
that you get from MMOs. Like, of course, you can socialize in fighting games, but you may make a friend here or, or there when you're fighting somebody and then get pissed off and whatnot and then become enemies. Uh, but that depends. That depends on you, really. Either way, my feelings when it comes to MMOs have been growing more and more so than I am with fighting games. So I want to uh, make content on MMOs. I want to make guides. I want to... Uh, mostly guides not on PvE since I have no clue how to make a decent guide for PvE. Because uh, I mean, you can easily watch somebody else who's much more proficient when it comes to these kinds of things. But when it comes to PvP, since I'm someone that likes to PvP, I like to improve, I like to get better to fight other players, then that is something that I can make guides on. I can show players how the game can be played, how my mindset, my opinions on the matter can come across to other players that are new to the game. So that is one thing that I want to do. And particularly the games that I want to delve into when it comes to MMOs is there's one game that's coming out fairly soon. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll come fairly soon. I say that as if I knew exactly the release date, sorry. Um, that is called Solo. At least it's abbreviated as Solo, but the actual name is Sword of Legends Online. And a lot of you are going to be put off by this name because if anybody knows about anything that has to do with the MMO community, then you would know that the publisher that's publishing uh, Solo is Gamingo. Which I'm not going to get in touch in with because you're, there probably is tons of videos talking about Gamingo and about their nefarious uh, marketing practices and or infamous reputation and whatnot but again you can look it up on YouTube you can look it up anywhere on the internet and you'll find information about them as to why they're considered to be infamous for their reputation for when it comes to publishing MMOs but in my opinion I think the game seems to be great I think that they're trying to at least invite the players to an actual decent experience instead of just like constantly milking the community off in my opinion I think the game might do well might do somewhat well hopefully as long as they say true what they what they have live streamed uh, the developers and the publishers if they are sticking true to what they're saying and what they're gonna be marketing then the game might actually do well uh, do well or it may even tackle some of the best games best MMOs out there right now uh, maybe not to the same degree as them but maybe getting to that point um so yeah there's that one thing and of course the one mmo that i am still to this day waiting for it to for its glorious body to just like make it to the west is lost ark now I know that a lot of people may either have their mixed feelings about Lost Ark, that the game might either be amazing, some people disagree, I for one see the game to be amazing, the developers seem to actually care for the game at some sort of fashion, you know, so yeah, I think that when it comes to that part, the game seems to be doing well, and the developers actually seem to be somewhat passionate for their own game. Not just as a business standpoint, but as a creator creating the game. So, yeah, uh, Lost Ark is definitely a game that I'm looking forward to 100%. To the point that I'm even thinking that if Lost Ark were to ever, ever come out to the West, because there's no actual release date, there's no actual publishers that we know of that have the rights to the game, because a lot of people are, are speculating that Amazon games are the ones that are going to be published the game, but we don't know exact. We don't know for sure. But even then, I... If this game were to ever come to the West, I think I might just drop every other game that I'm playing onto my channel. And just make content on Lost Ark. Because the game has everything that I want. It has the progression that I, that I, that I like. It has decently good story. It has amazing combat. 
it has fair PvP for that matter. That's one thing that, that a lot of players have been wanting for their MMOs, but there hasn't been a decent MMO out there with fair PvP. Besides a few that have been going strong lately, like uh, Guild Wars 2, uh, Blade and Soul, even though that game is dying. Uh, and what else? I don't know if there's any other game besides those two that I know of. But... But, uh... Lost Ark seems to be a game that introduces this, uh, these aspects into the game, and more so. You have your 1v1s, you got your, uh... I think they got 2v2s, I believe. I think it's that. No, I don't think it's that. I think if they have 3v3s, they have their, uh... What else do they have? <laughs> They have their team battle, which is like a 3v3, but it's not. And they even have ranked, they even have seasonal uh, bouts, seasonal tournaments. They can earn uh, earn your rewards, costumes even, cosmetics, which is amazing. And from what I can tell, Lost Ark actually has somewhat of an esports scene in the east. I don't know so much about the, uh, I mean of course the west, I can't say for sure because the game is not even out yet for the west. But if the game were to ever come out to the West, it may end up introducing some esports uh, tournament level of organization going on, maybe. But yeah, I'm looking. I'm very much looking forward to Lost Ark when that comes out to the West, if it ever does. Because right now we do not know anything. If the developers care about bringing the game to the West, and so the other game. The other MMO that I'm looking forward to is Project BBQ. Now, Project BBQ still doesn't have a release date. Still seems to be going through its either its alpha, uh, its beta, or its alpha testing. So, I mean, there isn't, there isn't even a alpha beta test or whatever shit. You know, like for people to players for, for them to test out to see how the game is like. Because right now we don't know anything. Mostly. Other than the uh, the trailers that they have been showing, and in my opinion, I am also looking forward to that game as well, to the point where I will even drop everything that I have been playing on my channel for that game as well. So that basically means that I'll be uploading chan um game um, <laughs> that I'll be <laughs> can we speak English? English. The only two MMOs that I'll probably end up playing on my channel. That will be my main games. Would it be Lost Ark and Project BBQ. Hopefully, they'll actually have a name for that game. But either way, that's the one game that I also am looking forward to. If it ever comes out to the West, that is, because right now there is no indication that the game will be coming out to the West. And if it were to come out to the to the East anytime soon, we don't even know exactly what year it will come out to the West. So that's another thing. So, those are mostly the MMOs that I'm looking forward to. Uh, mostly because of the fact of the combat, the progression, as well as the PvP that I'm looking forward to. Now, there is one other MMO that I'm also looking forward to, and it actually has a release date for this year. And that is uh, PSL 2 New Genesis, or... Uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, as it's called. That is a game that I'm looking forward to as well, but I am not too sure that I want to make content on that game for my channel. And the reason why is because the game doesn't have PvP. The game is strictly... Well, I won't say strictly, but I will say that it, it does have PvP, but it doesn't have any real balance when it comes to PvP. If that makes any sense. So... I don't know if they'll fix that in New Genesis. I'm not too sure if they'll do anything to make it more proper, to make it much more functional, in my opinion. But if not, then I have no reason to even play the game. I mean, not, not to play, I will still play the game, but probably not uh, create content on that game. But if it's something that the uh, players want to see me play, then I'll definitely play the game. I'll definitely put some content on. Either if you were looking for some guides, if you're looking for how to ultimately play the, your favorite class and whatnot, then I'll see to it to how exactly you can play the uh, the class that you want to uh, look, look into. 
if that's something that you want to see that is even though i'm not really into that kind of aspect of you know making guides on a class particularly for pve and whatnot because like i said there's, there's always going to be another individual who probably have mm, thought out a intricate you know a game theory exactly as to how you play the class proficiently you know and optimally so yeah but like I'm stating, that's one other game that I'm looking forward to as well to play, though I'm not too sure that I want to make content on. If I do make content on it, it's probably going to be a few videos here and there, but the one thing that I will say, and this is going to be the third part of this uh, video, and the last thing I'm going to be um, talking about, is that I want to move on from making videos. What I would love to do more than making videos is actually live streaming. Yeah, you heard me. I want to do live streaming. And I think the reason why I want to do live streaming is because I think I can be more like myself while I'm live streaming and not having to put an act when I'm trying to record a video. Because that's how I feel when I make a video. I feel like I'm putting up an act. I don't want to put up an act. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to try to be funny even though I'm not really in a funny mood. I'm not trying to feel like how should I say like feeling all reactionary in a sense like I react, react to everything when I really don't want to you know if what I really want to do is stay focused to what I'm doing in game then that's what I want to do but I also want to be able to socialize I also want to be able to speak with people I want to be able to interact with people and play with them even if, if all possible but in this case what I'm doing right now in terms of content recording editing printing thumbnails and putting them up on youtube it feels i mean at first it felt fun but now it doesn't feel as great as, as it used to when i first started uh and it's not because i'm bored it's just the formatting when it comes to mm, creating a video and then uploading a video online I'm not enjoying that aspect. Like, maybe I can do it, like, once or twice in a week, like I already done before, but... I think if I can also, how should I say, increase my avenues into other, uh, platforms besides just making videos, how about streaming? Now, I have streamed before, only, like, a couple of times, like, maybe, like, two to three hours. But I stopped streaming because of family matters, really. Uh, family matters and because of how easily you can hear the background of my of the stream going on. Because you can hear my family back in the background, them yelling, them talking. Because the walls in where I live, uh, I live in an apartment. So, you can legitimately hear anybody. Everywhere. So when people talk, it's like all you hear is people just talking in the background. And now I, I have somewhat fixed that issue with the mic setup that I have to where the sound isn't easily being picked up from their voices. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure right now if you guys can hear like the background noise right now because the train, there's a train station that I live nearby. And every like 10 to 20 minutes, a train goes by. So I'm not too sure if you guys are hearing that. If you guys hear that, then let me know, so that will at least know about that, so maybe I can, you know, kind of tweak the the sound from my uh, system. And of course, I also have a fan that's turned on, so I'm not too sure if you hear that as well. You might, you probably might hear that as well, but either way, my point is, is that I haven't streamed because I'm worried that the, that you guys, that you guys will end up uh, hearing all that background noise. And that's going to turn you guys off from wanting to watch me stream. I even bought, like, soundproof, like, acoustic foam on my room so that I'll be able to at least soundproof the, the walls a little bit. But it's, it hasn't really worked out uh, unless I, you know, move out and live in a, an apartment that's actually a bit more soundproof, if that makes any sense. But either way, um, 
if at all possible, and if at all possible, I, I definitely want to stream in the future. I definitely want to stream. Uh, I feel like I'll be more like myself if I stream. Uh, that I'll be able to interact with you guys, like I already said. And grow as a streamer as well. Because I think, I mean, that's the thing that I want to do at first. I, I never really wanted to do YouTube. I, I'm only doing YouTube as a means to an end, really. To use it as a, as a way to grow my influence on the channel, on, on the platform. So that I can move my influence to an actual platform that I want to get into. Because right now, I have zero influence. Like, I may be able to gain a few subscribers here and there, and a few, you know, dozen views here and there, but that's it. <laughs> so I want to be able to grow my channel first, my YouTube channel first, and then get into streaming. Either on YouTube itself, or on Twitch. And then that's it, really. So, yeah, that's basically all my points that I wanted to cross over. Uh, conclusion, I have been stressed out lately. That's why I haven't been uploading. A lot of family issues have been going on that have been really stressing me out. Uh, I've been playing other games lately, so that's been making me feel that I should move on to other genre of games besides just fighting games. That's why I want to play MMOs also. That's why I'm not too sure if maybe I should either just... Uh, make a second channel dedicated to MMOs only and then this channel can just be mostly based on fighting games so I can make one video on a fighting game that I really enjoy or maybe two videos on a, on on my primary channel and then let's say I make another two videos on the MMO that I like to play or just make one video for the fighting game uh, channel and the other one for the MMO either way I can go about that way if that's how uh, will probably you know make me grow as a pro as a channel in general. But m making two channels separately, now that I'm still uh, I'm still small, doesn't seem to be the correct choice. So I should see what I'm gonna do about that. Oh, so yeah, I can, I think that's it. That's all that I want to talk about. <laughs>